Hello there everybody, I am Haralo Sakiris and this is Future Games. So today we're going to take a look at a game called The Princess and the Goblin. It is by Bellwether Games and Dennis Hoyle. And right now it's on Kickstarter, so if you like it, uh, please uh, go to the link below uh, and back it. And I keep in mind also that this is more of a print and play version, so the artwork is not final. If you want to see the final artwork, go to the link below and check their campaign. So let's take a look at the game, how it is played, and then we are going to talk more about it. Yeah, so I'm going to do a simple explanation of the game. I'm not going to go in details about the advanced mode or the, or the solo rules. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> as we can see here, we have um, the, uh, the deck that we are going to use so we can escape the Goblin Palace. Actually, the Goblin Palace thematically is uh, within the mountain and we are going to use the tiles uh, to get an escape route and finally get to our house. In your turn you can make two things. The, the one thing that you can do is explore. You are going to uh, get a card and see what the card is. So you see a path here. You can use this path uh, later on in the game so you can escape. So, you, may, you can uh, place it wherever you want, you just flip it and you put it right here and wherever you put it you can see its adjacent tiles. For example, we can see this one which is the goblins and I'm going to tell you more about it and we also can see, oh, more goblins. So, yeah, it's not a, <laughs> maybe a happy uh, thing but you, uh, because you can, are able to see this, you can prevent your opponents from advancing. I'm gonna explain more about it later. Uh, so, let's say if we put it here, then, okay, we see another escape path. So, uh, let's see, these are not uh, okay with each other because uh, the path is not continued, so in order for the path to continue, uh, there must be a line like this. It must, um, yeah, it must be aligned. So, let's say we put it here. So, one thing is to explore. The other thing that you can do is to escape. And once you are ready, you have seen enough tiles, so you know your uh, escape route. You say, uh, I'm going to escape. And then, the goblins. Uh, that you have seen uh, come in place because in, at any time someone uh, says okay I'm going to escape then you shout goblins and then you point out a tile that has goblins and it, that, that player loses its turn uh, so it's a nice uh, mechanism to stop the uh, to stop the player uh, that is getting ahead so yeah uh, Okay, first of all, you can, if you are going to escape, you're going to take a tile like this. This is the Goblin's Palace. And then, uh, slowly, you are going to place uh, all the tiles that match. So, let's, for example, do this. Okay, so I have formed an escape route. So, this escape path is uh, quite long you can manage it with uh, five, five or six tiles but I put more tiles uh, in my route so you can see um, some of the things that you can do in the game so you win by victory points and that's one of the things that I like about it so uh, you start uh, from the goblin um, tower and you finish at your house so if you are um, the first one that finishes uh, you get to get the most um, uh, rewarding tile, which is the three points tile. Because as you go forward, um, the uh, victory points are reduced. So, uh, for example, in this um, uh, in this escape path, I've got these this uh, signposts. I don't know uh, what they are, but they uh, depict victory points. So we have one, two, three, four five, six, seven victory points in our path. But we could have more, how so? So, when I take a tile and I see it, and then I am placing it somewhere, I can, let's say I place it here. 
after seeing these two tiles, then I can uh, have a breadcrumb these are four different breadcrumbs that you have in the game that you can play somewhere just to remember on what the tile is so you can have multiple strategies so let's say in order for you to remember that this ants uh, at a uh, emerald had an emerald so you will do this and place the emerald on it uh, and so on and so forth so if I use this uh, as an escape route um, uh, tile then I get to have one more extra victory point. Uh, overall, this is the, the, the basics of this game. Um, if you uh, happen to be the first one who is going to be out, then your job is after your turn comes to flip a tile. So players have less and less um, uh, victory points. And if you get to have more turns, then every house is raided by goblins and no one can escape. So you are the winner. Yeah, so um, what are my thoughts about the game? Um, I played it with uh, a younger audience also with, and also with gamers. So I am going to split my um, review into two sections. The one section is uh, points that make the game great and points that keep the game from being greater. Uh, I think this is fair because I really like the game. Uh, so yeah, point number one on points that make it great. It is simple to understand and simple to teach. Uh, it's not hard at all uh, if you play with the basic rules because or basic and advanced rules uh, you can easily teach the game within like five minutes and if you have a younger audience you know that um, the time is precious and they they're eager to play the game so I like that about the game it's uh, easy to understand and easy to teach and fast yeah so my second point is that it uses victory points uh, for the players to actually win the game it's not who finishes first, but actually who has the most points at the end of the game. And now uh, it teaches the young people and the inexperienced player also um, how to start thinking that mentality and it like opens a door for multiple games, uh, intermediate games that uses uh, use victory point system. So I think it's good for um, inexperienced players and young people to start understand the concept of uh, how to win with victory points. So my point number three is uh, having advanced rules uh, except the basic rules but also having uh, uh, solo play is pretty important to me um, because uh, I can play it with more experienced gamers, I can play it with uh, like a wide uh, uh, range of people including when I'm alone I can play it there are solo rules so this is a big plus for the game number four is uh, the most important it's like it combines memory a bit of deduction and great fun uh, making it a great game uh, I had fun playing it with adults and with younger audiences so uh, every time it was like uh, having your, um, uh, not stress level, but you were trying to find the right um, path and you were trying to find the right tiles. And each, each um, game was interesting. Uh, so two games are not ever the same, so there is a lot of replayability also and it gets a bit harder if you go to the advanced level. Um, yeah, so I had a lot of fun with this game. Um, let's go and check uh, points that keep the game from being greater. Uh, what are the um, disadvantages that I think that the game had? Point number one, so uh, many people might not like the memory mechanism. Uh, because it is a quite old mechanism and also people might not like the idea of testing their memory because they might have not a great memory or they find it a bit a little bit childish because there are many games uh, children's games that actually require you to remember things 
and we don't see that usually in um, you know grown-up games like games that maybe uh, gamers prefer so I could see that it could be a off-putting um, fact and put off-putting thing about this game uh, not for me though I like the game I like the memory aspect although I wasn't too comfortable about it but you know I, I had fun and that says it all so closing I would like to say that if you like the game um, go to the link below and go to the Kickstarter campaign and back the project um, as far as I'm concerned I enjoyed the game I uh, played it with younger audience um, and I also played with adults and both times it had success and I had fun with it so you know the major thing is having fun with it uh, I recommend uh, you that to back it I really like the game um, yeah so again if you like the game go to the Kickstarter campaign down uh, on the link below and yeah uh, enjoy guys I am Haralabosakiris and this is Future Games